Grade 6 math number 10.8b, Functions, Equations, and Tables, Part 2. It's a continuation of 10.8a. As we said before, a function is an input-output relationship that has exactly one output for each input. Something goes in, something comes out, and there's a relationship that there's only one thing coming out for each thing going in, all right? And we can write an equation for a function and use the equation to make a table of outputs. Some functions can be represented by an equation with two variables, like x and y. So with our little function machine here, we've in the center here, we've got our input on this side and we've got our output on this side. And here's our function. It's our rule. x times 3 equals y. So if we put in a 2 for x, the output's going to be 6. The y is going to equal 6. If we put in a 3 in, we'll have 3 times 3, and that'll be 9, and y will equal 9. If we put a 4 in for the y, then it'll be 12, and the y will equal 12. So see, whatever goes in comes out, and they have a relationship. See? Okay? So for each input value we use for x, there's only one output value for y. y can't equal anything else if we put 4 in. y can only be 12, can't it? We can make sure our function for the equation is correct, our rule, by plugging the numbers in to see if they're true, and we can also do an inverse operation to further check it, couldn't we? All right, it says write an equation for the function shown in the table, and then find the missing value in the table. All right, so how are we going to write an equation? Well, what we do is, like we did in the last couple videos, we look at the patterns in the sequence. What's the relationship between x and y in the first box? 1 and 5, and then 2 and 10. What's it doing? Is it, what's the y doing? What's the sequence for the y doing down here? 5, 10, 15 something, 25, 30. Ha ha ha. I bet you can tell what's supposed to be here. Can you tell what our rule is, where our function is? The function is 5 times x equals y. 5 times whatever is in the x column, the input column is going to equal the y column. So 5 times 4 is 20. See? And then it goes 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. See? It fits. So you figure out the pattern for x1 and y1 and x2 and y2, and you look at the pattern that's happening with y, and then you can figure out the missing one. See? All right. Here, the equation is going to be 8x equals y because you can see 10 times something is 80. 10 times 8 is 80. So 8 times this x is going to equal the y. So 8 times 10,000 is 80,000. See? And then this one, if you look at the x and the y, how is y going up? 9 and then 16. What's 16 take away 9? It's 7. And then it goes to 23. What's 23 take away 16? It's 7. So it's going up by 7. See? And the actual equation is 7 times x, whatever's in these boxes, 1, 2, 3, 4, plus a 2. So it was 7 times 1 plus 2 is 9. 7 times 2 is 14 plus 2 is 16. See? So what's 7 times 4 plus 2? 7 times 4 is 28 plus 2 is 30. So we'd put a 30 here. See? All right. So, the abbreviation for function in mathematics is the letter F. And yes, F is a letter in the alphabet that could be used as a variable to take the place of an unknown number. Yes, that is true. But, generally, when you see it in the math books, it's written kind of fancy like that, okay? So functions are used in algebra, and that's math that uses letters, symbols, to represent quantities and formulas and equations. And it's used in trigonometry. That's math about sides and angles of triangles. And it's used in calculus. That's math that deals with rates of change and finding lengths and areas and volumes. You can do it. All these types of math are really not that big of a deal because you learn little bits at a time, see? You don't learn everything overnight. You learn a little bit at a time and by doing that, the biggest mountain, if you take one little step at a time, the biggest mountain can be climbed. See? So millions of people have learned how to do algebra and trigonometry and calculus. Millions. You can too. No big deal. Okay? I'll see you next video. You're doing great. Keep up the good work. Bye.